Hi guys, so today we're going to be doing cha ching number 115. Uh, so we're just going to start in where we left off, which was a true blue spa foot soak. This was actually put out by Bath and Body Works. Um, I'm not sure, it's been a long time since I've been into Bath and Body Works. I'm not sure if they still sell True Blue Spa items or not, but I do think this one was a discontinued item. It was a foot soak that did sell for $35.99, and I picked that up at a yard sale. I'd say I paid $1 to $2 for it. Uh, the next item that I have is an Estee Lauder lipstick. This was in the shade Melon Shimmer that sold for $39.99, and I got that at a flea market. I purchased a bunch of lipsticks when I purchased that at the flea market. Um, so average out, like averaging out the price, I probably paid like one to two dollars for each tube of lipstick that I purchased. Uh, next item I have was a vintage from 1984 Charmkins playset. Um, this sold for $49.99. It was brand new, still in the original packaging. I had won that at an auction and I'd say I paid $10 or less for it. I also sold a Catherine Lily White black cat wearing a sweater ornament that sold for $9.99 and that averaged out to be about a dollar I paid for that. <laughs> I hear Amelia like in the hallway kind of playing so I'm sorry if I got a little distracted there. I sold a celluloid uh, plastic flower necklace for $19.99, so this one was a vintage necklace. This did come from an auction. I had won kind of like a tray of jewelry and that was on there and it was quite a few pieces and I've already sold um, not all of the pieces from the tray, but a lot of the pieces from the tray and I'd say I paid about $20 for the tray, but like I said, it was more than just that necklace on there. Next four items to go to the same person. I don't have a name written down, so I don't think that this was a subscriber. If I am ever wrong, please correct me in the comments so that I can properly shout out anyone who has purchased from me. I'm pretty good with it, but sometimes I do make mistakes or I forget. Uh, but they purchased four of um, my scrub tops. These came from a yard sale and I paid um, like a dollar to two dollars a piece for them. Uh, the first one was a Scooby-Doo scrub top that sold for $12.99. Next was a Tinkerbell that also sold for $12.99 a Hello Kitty one that sold for $12.99 and lastly a Bambi one again I sold for $12.99. I also sold a set of Ed Hardy car seat covers. These had koi fish on them. These were new in the packaging. They sold for $119.99 and those came from an auction as well. I'd say we paid maybe 15, 14 to 15 dollars a piece on those. And Ed Hardy stuff is coming back in style. People are definitely looking for Ed Hardy things if you come across them. It used to be really popular back in like what was it the early-ish 2000s and it is coming back now. Um, I also sold a Franklin Library book. Um, this one was Faust and that sold for $39.99. That did come from an auction. We had purchased a bunch of Franklin Library books at the auction. Uh, next item also came from an auction. This was just a subject Bible. You know what? This might have come from a yard sale. It sold for $59.99. I'm pretty sure Eric picked that up at a yard sale actually and I do believe it was a dollar. I had gotten some Bibles at an auction. That's why I have that like in the back of my head. Um, next item was a vintage Anchor Hawking grease jar and matching salt and pepper shakers. Those sold for $59.99 and those also came from an auction. I feel like those did take a while to sell as well. Um, I sold an Xbox 360 game. This was a Sonic the Hedgehog that sold for $16.99 and that also came from an auction. 
Next was a vintage jar opener by a, I think this was called a Speedo vintage jar opener that sold for $15.99. And that came out of like a box lot of stuff I wanted at, au at an auction. So it wasn't something I necessarily was like trying to win, but I listed it and it sold. I also sold an Avon Ungaro lipstick for $12.99 also came from an auction um next item was a vintage emerald perfume that sold for $9.99 and that probably came from an auction as well um this item did go to a subscriber named Jean she had purchased a brass owl desk bell this thing was so cool it made the best little thing noise i got that at a yard sale it sold for 29 dollars and 99 cents sold one of the craft cheese singles storage boxes uh for 22 dollars and 99 cents i think this one was a yellow one um but you know i have sold the clear ones as well for a little less i asked a little more for the yellow one because it was yellow <laughs> Um, next I have, um, this item did go to a subscriber as well. Her name is Megan. She had purchased a vintage pulp paper mache vase that sold for $14.99. And I do believe that came from an auction. Next was a Hallmark Cookies for Santa plate that sold for $18.99. And I feel like that came from a fill -a bag rummage sale. And it took a while. It did take a while to sell. I sold, this was from the 1980s. It was a Pizza Hut like play food, pre, like pretend play food set of a uh, pizza that sold for $25.99. That came from a tray of some like vintage like pretend play food that I had won at an auction. I have also sold a Lancome lipstick in this shade Fashion Icon that sold for $22.99. That came from the flea market, so $1 to $2 for that too. I sold a White Shoulders perfume. This was my mom's favorite scent. I still have her bottle. This sold for $19.99 and that probably came from a yard sale or an auction. I also sold a Coach Mini Shoulder Purse for $59.99 and that came from a yard sale. I sold a primitive looking just tall cat figure for $19.99 so that probably came from a yard sale. I sold a Wrangler Pearl Snap Button Up Shirt for $17.99. That either came from a yard sale or a thrift store. This next item came from an auction. It was for a Three Mile Island ashtray. This thing was just amazing. I had never seen anything like it before. It was really large and shaped like, you know, a nuclear power plant um, reactor. And, you know, I just, as soon as I saw it, I was like, that's really weird. That's cool. That's interesting. Like, there's so many different buyers, I think, that would be interested in this piece. And I sold it for a hundred dollars and I say I pay maybe 40 bucks for it. So um that was a good sale. I sold a craftsman bench fries for $70.99 and that came from a yard sale. Eric picked that up. Um, I also sold a pair of Clark's Artisan shoes for $19.99 and they probably came from a yard sale. I sold a Lush notebook and pin for $15.99. This came out of one of my Lush subscription boxes. Um, I also sold a Yankee Candle leaf um, candle topper plate. So this is something that you'd put on top of your candle just as like a decorative purpose. This one sold for $25.99. I also sold a carved tie. These were like praying statues. Those sold for $19.99 and they came from um, like an estate yard sale. I also sold 
a set of buyer's choice these were a lot of four native american buyer's choice dolls they sold for 299 dollars and 99 cents they did come from an auction i sold a pair of high top sneakers by a company called pastry those sold for $39.99. They came from a yard sale and I'd say we paid $2 for them. Um, the next one, two, I believe three things went to a subscriber named Sandra. She purchased a green swung vase for $19.99. That probably came from a yard sale. Um, she also purchased a Fenton Amber swung vase for $19.99. Again, yard sale or auction. And she also purchased a Mickey Mouse scrub top for $12.99. And that came from the same sale I purchased the other scrub tops at. Um, I also sold a Department 56 tambourine. It had a black cat on it. It was made out of like cardboard. It was made to look like the vintage ones. Um, that sold for $29.99. And I did get that at... Um, a ladies sale where I had purchased a bunch of Halloween items. I'd say I paid five to six dollars for that. I sold an antique beaded flapper purse for $99.99 that did come from an auction. Um, next was a Brother P Touch label maker um, that sold for so this was just the tape, not the actual label maker. That sold for $9.99 and that came on a tray of some stuff I won at an auction. I also sold a, this was a little black cow figure by Teresa Kogut that sold for $14.99 and that came from a yard sale. I also sold a Fenton Green opalescent coin dot basket for $449.99. That came from an auction and I paid less than $50 for that. That was a real, like that one sold so much because it is a very hard to find color in that specific style, the coin dot. Um, so yeah, that's why that sold for so much. Um, I also sold a pink depression glass cake stand for $39.99 and that came from an estate sale. An Estee Lauder private collection, um, mini perfume that sold for $15.99 that probably came from a yard sale. I also sold a Michael Kors card holder for $25.99 that came from a yard sale. I also sold a 1998 Navajo pottery vase for $25.99 and again probably came from a yard sale. Um, a Lundby dollhouse swing. Um, this sold for $19.99 and that came from a church sale where I purchased the Lundby dollhouse with the furniture. I also sold a Tinkerbell mug for $11.99 and that came from a yard sale. And the last thing that I have is a Lush shower gel in the scent Ghost that sold for $39.99 and that came from one of my Lush subscription boxes. I had already owned um, this shower gel and it was one of the times when like I was getting two subscription boxes so I had doubles of everything and it was just getting a little overwhelming. I had to cancel one of my subscriptions because I didn't realize I had signed up twice. Um, but that is everything for this cha-ching. As far as eBay goes, I feel like things are going okay. Like oddly enough, I have a lot of like older things that I've been selling recently, like stuff that's been sitting for a while, which is just it's weird how that happens, um, but I do feel like sales are good, but I don't feel like they're up necessarily. I think like it's just like average kind of thing. Um, so I just, I feel like, you know, once people start getting like their taxes finished up and like getting like tax money back, um, that maybe it'll start to kick up again a little bit. But, you know, as of right now, I would say things are just normal, not not necessarily below normal or above normal, but just normal as far as sales go. 
Um, I don't really feel like I have much to talk about as far as eBay goes. Um, it's just, you know, moving along kind of thing. Um, yard sale season is started. Um, I think I had mentioned in one of my last stitching videos that, you know, they're popping up here and there on the weekends. Um, not like a whole lot to choose from to go to yard sales, but they are starting to come about. So I will be having more, you know, yard sale type of footages. Um, so those types of videos, if you're interested in those. Um, I just posted one the other day and I will say, and I'm not really necessarily going to apologize for it because it's just me. It's how I am. Um, I do know like, I even like hate to bring this up because it's like such a non-issue, but it just, it kind of like pinches my skin a little bit as far as like sometimes I'll get comments about my voice, not necessarily like in a mean way or anything like that but just bringing to attention my voice and I've always had a very high-pitched kind of girly voice and I know it it drives some people crazy I used to get picked on about it you know when I was younger um but you know I I've embraced it. It it sucks being an adult woman and having a childlike voice and it doesn't help when I see an animal. I just get that like, oh, you know, you just want to talk like a, like a baby around it basically. So I do that and I love animals and when I see animals at yard sales, it just brightens my day so much. Like I just get so excited. Like I could just spend my day at the yard sale with the animal. It's like I don't even really care what's around me or what what deals I'm missing because I'm just happy to see an animal because it, it just makes me so happy. That's what's making me happy at that moment. So that's what I want to enjoy type of thing. But yeah, I know some people have, have an issue with it. I feel like that's one of the things that's gonna like hamper my abilities to really gain like any kind of large following because I think I annoy too many people which it's fine you know I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing and everything and that's that but I I do apologize if like either my voice annoys you or the fact that like you know, <laughs> I get a little crazy around animals. I can't help myself. I get like, I'll get really high pitched too when I'm excited. Like you'll even hear it like when I'm talking and that type of thing. If I'm in any way excitable, it just whoop, <laughs> goes up in volume and annoyancy, I guess. Um, but that has nothing to do with eBay. I do want to make mention um, a little bit about whatnot. I feel like I should do just like a whatnot type of chit chat video because I know not everyone wants to hear about whatnot or cares about whatnot but I am still trying to like gain a following on whatnot um it takes a while to really gain a following I think I have like 404 followers right now um and my shows do okay like um not great by any means but, um, you know, I'm having fun doing them and that's like all I'm really trying to do with whatnot right now is just have fun with it. It's not really about like making the most money out of what I'm selling or that type of thing. It's just like a way for me to kind of like hang out with people and talk to people and that kind of thing and like sell some stuff just to like, you know, get it out of my house kind of thing. So I'm really like, I feel struggling a little bit with that right now um I'm trying to do a show every week just to like you know keep my my name out there and everything but I definitely feel like it's a process a pretty slow process so um yeah I I do have a jewelry show scheduled for this coming Tuesday at eight o'clock and that's Eastern Standard Time. And then I decided to do one on Friday, that same Friday, um, also at eight o'clock, just to try a different day to see, you know, if there's, cause 
there's some people and whatnot that are like on like all the time. You know, like anytime I go on, it's like, oh my gosh, this person is still on. I could not do that. My throat gets so sore after I do a whatnot show. Like I am just feeling it. So like there's no way I could spend all day on there trying to sell stuff. But I'm just going to try another day and I'm just going to keep at it just like how, you know, I keep at it with eBay and here on YouTube really um, to just keep trying to gain like a following and that kind of thing. And I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but you know, I've said before, you don't ever have to buy anything, but if you just want to come and hang out, it's like a whole chat. So like you can talk to me, you can ask questions. Um, like I don't want it to be too, you know, talking about like YouTube or anything like that, but I mean, you can still like chat and stuff and I'll chat back like it's just like a way to kind of hang out and be a little more submersive with people like in the in like the real time is what I'm trying to say in real time um but yeah I've been I've been having fun with it so I want to keep doing it um but that's pretty much all I really have to talk about I feel like I ramble so much after these videos but I just want to let you guys know like how things are going with with that and and all of that good stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know um, how things are going with you as far as your sales go if you sell and whatnot let me know your name so that I can follow you um, and yeah I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time